had friends. I'd like you to get into Tinkercad really quick and choose Create New Design. Today we're going to do a super quick project to work with the alignment and the grouping tools. So let's type the name, my name for the file name, because in the end our name is going to be on the project. Grab a box, bring it out, click the little white corner, make sure you get the tip of your mouse on it, and we're going to make this 80. Let's keep the 20, let's click the height box, and let's make it 40. And then I would like you to click the colors and pick any color that you think is awesome. The next, next thing I want to do is attach this little pyramid up on this edge. The way to do it is with the work plane, which you can click, or you can just press the W on the keyboard and then move to the spot where you want to put it and click. So now I've got a new work plane instead of down here on the bottom, it's up on the top. Grab your pyramid, set it out. Click that work plane to shut it off. You've got to click the old blue one to make it selected. Select both pieces by drawing a rectangle that touches both. Then click on the align tool so that you can align them to the right using this button right here and then also to the center. Notice the dots turn gray showing that they're all lined up. I'm going to take those two pieces. I'm going to grab them so I'm selecting again and I want to group them. It makes a nice one color little triangle pyramid with a rectangle under it. And I want to do that trick again. This time I'm going to click work plane. I'm going to put my other triangle up here. Or my pyramid is a better word. We'll bring out the math teacher. I'm going to click work plane again. And I'm going to shut off work plane. Once again, I could have done that by pressing W. Find my align tool. And I'm going to center and center. Oops, left. Because I want to make it so that it's the same. When I've got them lined up really cool, I want you to group them. Let's work with our views quick. Over here you've got a nifty one that says fit view to selection, so it squeezes in your screen. From the top, our shape looks like that. In between the top and the front is a nice bar that gives us a view from both. You can do that from any side, so I'm looking between the front and right. There I'm looking at the right, I'm looking between the right and back. I can go back to the corner to see the top, I can switch to the top, and then I can switch back to the front. With yours finally on the front, let's do that work plane again. Click the work plane, and let's add a cone for a funny nose. Drag it out. Press your W or your work plane to shut it off. Click on the blue, and let's make this so that it has a nose centered using that same center trick that we practiced a minute ago. Let's take a peek at it from the top, and you can see it's connected wonderfully. Press W again. Oops, we got to shut off a line. Press W again. And now let's put eyes on this little critter with the half sphere. And we want to do that twice. So with it selected, hold Control and tap D. That gives you two of them. Let's look at it from the front. It's kind of cute. Let's take all those pieces by selecting them and group them. But this time, let's turn on the colors called multicolor. And then it keeps those colors it had. If you want to add other cool stuff, you may at this time. I've given you the skills. But the last thing I want you to do is to switch to the back. And I want you to press W and connect to the back. And I want you to bring the words out. And I want you to type your name. I've got Mr. H. You can see that it's now connected to the back. Uh, you can check that right back combination. I'm going to make it a hole. And I'm going to use the cone to push it in two millimeters. And now I'm going to shut off the work plane by clicking work plane and clicking off it down on the blue. There's my W and there's my work plane. And I want to now group those so my name is cut out of the back. You have to wait a second for it to happen, but then you can check it out. I'm going to right click rotate and marvel at how cool my little project was. 
Super fast, super fun, good practice for the basic skills. You will use group and align and multicolor a ton as you make cool, fun, fantastic projects. Thanks for following along. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.